What's up guys, Carbon Soul Gaming here. I'm here to tell you about how to get the Chaperone. This is a really, really nice shotgun if you prefer to have a precision weapon in your secondary that isn't a sniper. Now, the stats on it are pretty simple. Uh, one of them's road, Roadborne. Precision kills briefly grant you handling, precision damage, and whatnot. Survivor, uh, three rapid kills gives you a couple extra bullets back in the magazine. The rest of it is kinda simple. Uh, most weapons have all this other stuff. Uh, weapon also uses slugs, so it can be used at a far distance. It's kind of like it would be a replacement for the No Land Beyond. So if you would rather have the No Land Beyond be in your secondary slot, then this is the weapon for you. Now, note that you do have to have the last word to be able to get this quest. And, uh, once you get the quest, all you have to do is get kills with the last word equipped. Uh, if you if you get a kill, it counts towards 1% of the quest. If you get a death, it counts away 2%. So you have to have a, at least a KD of 2.0 or higher to be able to do anything in this quest. What I recommend is to only equip the weapon when you have heavy ammo or a super. Uh, that'll get you some kills really quickly and it should take you no time at all, maybe a couple of rounds, to get this weapon, uh, this part of the quest out of the way. The last word is a very easy weapon to get kills with. Uh, it's not hard at all. But, uh, if you're not very good at it, then you'll want to do my plan. Once you get the last word, though, you're going to want to talk to Amanda Holiday, and she'll give you the details on the quest. Personally, when changing out your weapon, I would recommend using another hand cannon just so that it can feel the same way whenever you pull out the uh, last word. Whenever you're finally done with that, you can go talk to Amanda Holiday, and then she'll ask you to go get a generous donation from the Crypt Ark. Now, this thing is pretty expensive. You have to have 15k glimmer for it. If you don't have 15k glimmer, then you should probably stop buying heavy ammo from Banshee44 and start buying it from Varix. Because I know that's what you're doing. Once the Crypt Ark is finally done digging his dick into your wallet, you're going to want to go back to Amanda Holiday, where she is going to ask you to use a shotgun in Crucible like a bitch. Or you can just go kill yellow barred enemies. It's your choice. Once you begin this part, there will be no penalty towards dying, so it'll be relatively fast to get this, maybe only a couple of matches. When you finally get done with that, all you have to do is go talk to Amanda Holiday, and she will give you another part of the quest that tells you that you have to wait until the next reset. And then you have the chaperone. This weapon is a one-shot kill in PvP if you hit them in the head, and it is a very long-ranged weapon despite the scope being so close. The weapon does take some getting used to, but in the end I do think it's a wor worthwhile weapon to get. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. I'll see you next time. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective.